Hi guys, welcome to this class. Uh, right here we have a gas generator, TIGMAS 2900 model to be precise. This particular generator, according to the client, stopped giving out power. The client said it was in use a certain night and suddenly, even while the gen was running, it stopped producing light, it stopped giving out power. Okay? And so today we will be, we'll troubleshoot and we'll fix it from scratch do exactly what is needed to bring it back in very good shape one more thing if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do do subscribe and of course you have certainly nothing to lose mm? and again you will also have access to quality video teachers week in week out uh, also share to friends and families so they can as well learn from this channel all right shall we Okay, these are some of the tools we will we'll be using to troubleshoot and repair this particular uh, generator. Okay, let me kick start it so at least we understand firsthand what the client really complained about. If you observe carefully, you will discover the voltmeter is not working. Okay, it didn't move at all when we put on the gen. And again, the indicator here, yeah, this uh, is an indicator. So when there is power in the generator, it usually indicates. But this didn't indicate whatsoever. So that is a clear proof that what the client complained about was really, really valid. So before then, on a norm, although I've been doing this for some years now, I've been fixing generators over time. At least I will have basic ideas where it should be wrong, where it should the fault should come from, and how I will, go, I will rectify it. But for the purpose of this class, I will be doing everything from the very scratch. Okay? And when you have a generator like this, and you have been told, or you have a gentle personally, or you have been told to come fix for someone. Okay, you you certainly need to. The first thing I do, basically, is to check for continuity. Check for continuity. Okay, what does that mean? What that means is if the wires in the generator, from the windings down to the wires that gets down to the socket, if any of them is bad, you will notice via this meter because at that point it won't show that it is continuous it will read here if it's continuous and it's not continuous it doesn't read you get so with this very meter you can ascertain to a large extent where the fault is coming from so without further ado let's get into business all right okay just to check if the continuity function is uh, working and we just got this working let's check for a check the socket okay it's continuous oh fortunately this is also continuous but the probe can't really touch it very well Okay, somehow this socket to an extent is a little bit faulty and the probe can't really get into, into it so that it can connect the inner part, although it's very much continuous as well. Okay, that said, we'll quickly lose this part of the generator. Uh, don't forget a generator is uh, actually made up of two parts, the prime mover, which is the mechanical part and the alternator which the part that gives out uh, power to electrical power to uh, the, our houses okay so what we need to do here is we have to text for continuity that is what we have to do just take a look at it for those that don't know let me just quickly rush through the explanation this is the avr okay 
this is the diode okay and let me pull this out so you get it very well this is the aviaro this is the diode and this is the carbon brush that sits on that sits on the commutator the slip rings okay okay let's test for continuity here first of all we are going to test for continuity in the alternator in the uh, rotor rather okay i take out the brush i take out the brush okay this is the brush the carbon brush is still very much okay still very much healthy okay on the norm i can decide to test on continuity why this is connected to the sleeping just insert the probe here touch the probe put the probe here then it shows continuity but i'm just doing this for the benefit of those that may not have been able to to see something like this before okay how do you test for continuity of an alternator this is it if you look carefully I'm just trying to focus the camera on this point now so you get it very well okay you see this part let me use the probe to really show you guys you see this part this part painted gold it's called the commutator or slip rings see these two parts there are two actually two different parts okay and these two Part of the carbon brush these two part of the, the brush sits on it okay with that um, there's another video we'll be uploading soon and that will basically explain how the alternator works so when that video comes in you will get in details how this alternator works but first of all let's test the for continuity okay that's the probe there on the first commutator and then another probe okay it shows it's continuous it shows it's continuous okay you see now it shows it's continuous good what we've successfully done we've successfully shown the rotor is certainly not faulty so the fault cannot come from the rotor okay the fault cannot come from the rotor so let's connect the carbon brush back i'll try my possible best to make it simple for everybody to to really understand we are putting the carbon brush back after um, troubleshooting the rotor and discovering that it is very very much healthy okay what do we do next up next we troubleshoot the we we'll troubleshoot the um, starter. Uh, don't forget the starter and the rotor mix up the alternator. We we'll troubleshoot the starter. Okay. One basic thing you should understand is if you can troubleshoot then there's no limit to which you can go with repairs mm -hmm. troubleshooting basically is is 90 percent of it in my opinion if you troubleshoot successfully then you can bring a machine back to life a generator back to life as the case may be okay this is it now this is it now uh, what i did was to disconnect this panel these two wires goes to the panel these two wires are connected to the circuit the uh, sorry the socket i tested earlier the two sockets i tested earlier for continuity these wires are connected to it okay well we are going to test for start on that so i will pull these wires out so you get it very well these two wires these two wires are coming from the starter okay so from these two wires we can tell if the starter is faulty or not it's just continuating the starter so this is it okay 
this is plain it shows there is continuity good what we've successfully done we successfully tested for both the rotor and the starter what does that tell us there's a particular component we haven't tested for and, and let me show you that component meanwhile for those that will be thinking okay we haven't tested and the diode yet what will be the diode for oh, what's the, diode, the function of the diode although my initial plan was not to really explain that in this video as those will be, though, of course those will be explained better in other videos but this diode basically is for battery charging okay it's for battery charging so this is none of our business so our business is to i can decide to cut these wires out just abandon this diode the generator as well will produce light are you getting what we should be concerned about is the starter and the rotor if the starter produces light if the starter is okay and the rotor is okay then most definitely we'll get light in our apartment are you getting me so we know this is not part of it okay let's look at the avro we've tested everything now and it's most likely the avro physically examine the avro now you will discover it's swollen somewhere this is it the avro is somehow swollen but we'll lose it out so you you can examine it yourself okay instead of okay it's even worse from the inside <laughs> okay it's even worse from the inside okay see it now this is an avr how do you expect something like this to work almost impossible it's swollen if you look carefully look at this point here now the avr is swollen okay it's overheats and got swollen so i can tell you 100% now, this AVR is certainly the reason why this generator has not been able to produce voltage, has not been able to power uh, my client's apartment.